Okay, Mark, looks like a great day to uh, launch Endeavor for the final time. Uh, I've never been an Olympic athlete, but I imagine this is what they feel like. So we're heading to the launch pad. It's game day. It's on, and we are so ready to go and do our job. Having your dreams come true and the, all, the, the, all the work that you've done for years culminating in, in one moment where they push the big red button and you leap off of planet Earth. Launch is incredible. It, first of all, the emotions going through your mind. There's a whole mix of things because, I mean, you'd be stupid not to have some fear going on, but that's compartmentalized in the back. At the same time, there's this little kid part of the back of your brain going like, I'm going to space, this is great. But part of me was that little girl going, I'm finally going to space. And then on well, my first mission, so I was mission specialist too, which is a person that sits right behind the commander and the pilot, and you have a huge responsibility to keep track of all the systems and things that are going on. So you have to focus. At nine minutes, you come out of the weather hold, and that's when you, the weather's actually been good. Then you work your way down, and things start at five minutes. They move start the auxiliary power units, and continuing down, there each little step, you get closer and closer. So it's time to go fly. A certain cadence, a certain number of voice calls that are made that indicate that things are progressing normally. T minus one minute and counting. So there's a giant water tower at the at the pad, and right before the engines light, the, the, all that tons and tons, I don't know, the, a lot of water comes flying out of that thing like Niagara Falls down into the flame trench. It's all to dampen out the, the acoustic energy, the noise, and when the main engines light, the whole stack rocks forward. And then when the boosters hit, there's this sudden lurch as if uh, a giant hand reached in under this seat and pushed it skyward. Lift off for the final launch of Endeavor. It continues to thrust you skyward uh, until you reach orbital velocity. And that entire time, your back is being pressed into the back of the seat. And as you get faster and faster, the G-forces build to where it's three G's through the chest, pushing and squeezing your chest against the seat back. Basically being blasted off the planet is such a violent experience. You're on a controlled explosion that your body is shaking in all different directions and your eyeballs can never track where they're supposed to track. And after about a couple minutes of that, being smart rocket scientists like we are, we think, oh man, I'm going really fast. And like a couple more minutes go by and you're like, ah, I'm going super fast. We are going into space. Sure enough, you go from zero miles an hour to 17,500 miles an hour in eight and a half minutes in this thing. With the solid rocket boosters, uh, all the vibration makes it feel like you're driving a pickup truck over railroad tracks. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. But the transition once we drop the SRBs off is just smooth as silk. Then it goes to Mercedes on the Autobahn. And separation from the external tank. On the balance, it's a very, very enjoyable ride. As long as you sort of keep out of the back of your mind, you might die while you're doing it. Other than that, it's just super fun.